Hi, I'm Matt with Sporesight. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you'll need to perform a professional air sample collection for AI analysis by Sporesight. We use these air samples to assess the types and levels of mold present in the air of the home. Air samples can help identify mold that can adversely affect the indoor air quality. Elevated mold in the indoor air can be an indication of moisture inside the home. If you schedule an appointment for collecting air samples in advance, you'll want to make sure the residents of the property are informed about a few best practices for the collection. Have them keep windows and doors closed as much as possible for 24 hours before the appointment. Any air purifiers and outdoor air exchangers should be turned off 24 hours before the appointment as well. But their HVAC system can run normally and any attached furnace filters should remain in place. As you prepare for your appointment, here are the supplies you're going to need. The chain of custody form, either printed or digital. The air pump. Four fully charged AA batteries. We recommend carrying spare AA batteries. At least three Allergenco D Positrack air sample cassettes. Check the expiration date to make sure they're still valid the return shipping envelope, the return shipping label addressed to Sporesight. And you'll probably want to carry some extra cassettes with you to the job, as home buyers often want you to take more samples than originally planned. On site, you're going to need to choose the sampling locations. Often, the home buyer will have specific locations already in mind that they want to have tested such as a child's bedroom or a basement that has flooded in the past. So ask them if they have any areas they would specifically like tested. Other times you'll need to determine the best location to take samples. Here are some best practices to help you in making those decisions. The very best locations are areas with visible mold growth, such as moldy drywall or a plumbing leak in a cabinet or faulty shower door. If there aren't any active moisture issues or visible mold growth, the next best sampling locations are areas with disclosed past moisture issues, areas with complaints of poor air quality, or areas with musty odors. If there are no obvious locations, then good areas to sample in are where the occupants spend significant amounts of time, such as bedrooms, living spaces, home offices, etc. Even if an area in the home doesn't quite meet any of these descriptions, you can still collect a sample from any conditioned living space. Indoor air samples should only be collected in conditioned or finished living spaces. Unconditioned spaces aren't appropriate for air sampling since they aren't closed off from the outdoor air and don't have the same level of housekeeping as living spaces. Unconditioned spaces are more likely to have significant levels of background debris and naturally occurring mold spores that have settled. This can lead to false positive results. Once you have found a good location for taking your samples, you're going to want to set up the pump in a spot that is in the center of the room and is within the breathing zone, which is approximately three to six feet from the floor. You can set the pump on a folding ladder, countertop, or other piece of furniture to get the optimum height. Remove the covers on both sides of the sampling cassette. Make sure to hang on to the covers since they will need to be replaced on the cassette after sampling. Press the on button to start the pump. The pump will run for five minutes and auto shut off. Once the pump has finished running, return the covers to both sides of the cassette at this point, you're going to want to label the cassette and fill out the information on the chain of custody form. Remember, indoor air sampling should test a minimum of two indoor locations. An essential element of any mold test is the outdoor air sample. It is necessary to collect an outdoor air sample so that we can compare the amount of spores found inside the home with the amount found outside. 
We use this comparison to find out if any spores found inside the home are naturally occurring from the outside environment or if the mold is growing inside the home. Without an outdoor air sample, SporeSite will not be able to issue a report for your project. To perform the outdoor sample collection, you're going to follow the same steps as the indoor samples with these additional considerations. Place the pump at least 10 feet away from the structure of the home. Keep the pump approximately three to six feet from the ground to keep it away from soil. For example, place it on your car. Keep the pump out in the open, away from any landscaping, such as away from flower beds or gardens. Be mindful of weather conditions, such as precipitation and heavy winds. If there are any out of the ordinary weather conditions, make a note of them in the chain of custody form. There you go. Once you're done collecting your samples, you're ready to send them in for analysis. In our next video, we'll walk you through that process.